Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and welcome to the show here on Glenn Travels America. Glad to have you guys here. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about the new Wuhan virus, or something that they are calling Disease X. And it's only, I don't have all the facts. This, what I'm going to talk about, only represents my opinion only. And... Uh, of course, I'm basing that opinion on as much available information that I can obtain at this point in time. So I'm going to speculate, uh, in my opinion, on what could possibly be the potential, and I say possibly, be the potential of what this virus could actually do, based on very uh, sketchy, at best, information that I'm receiving so far about this virus. Now, we all know it's, it's a coronavirus, and it's related to the SARS virus that killed a lot of people. It killed like 800 people, uh, and we kind of got lucky in SARS. We were able to stop it, and one of the reasons why we were able to stop it, I believe, personally, was because it was quite deadly, you know, and it the people that come down with it, uh, were easily identifiable that they had SARS. I mean, they were basically very, very sick, you know, and they were able to track down, and we kind of got lucky. We were able to stop it. But this one's not quite, from the information I'm getting now, remember, this is all just speculation on my part and all just my opinion, the things I'm going to say now. I believe that this virus, from the preliminary reports I'm getting, uh, based on that, this virus seems to be not as deadly as SARS. And therefore, I believe that it is actually spreading through the population. A lot of people are going undiagnosed, and the reason why, now this is my opinion only, the reason why is, is because they're only representing either flu-like symptoms or cold symptoms, like they got a cold. And I think most people that catch it, this is my opinion only, probably 99% of the people that actually catch it think they have a cold, and they get over it. They get over it. It goes down their chest a little bit. You know, you've all had colds like that. You know, it makes you cough, and you cough up uh, you cough up yellow stuff and for a few days, and then you get over it. And I think that's how it's presenting itself in, in most people. Most, I say most, but I think there's about 1% of the population where it's advancing to a more severe level, where it's causing acute respiratory problems. And I think that what we're seeing in the Chinese, now this is my opinion only, what we're seeing in the Chinese uh, reporting numbers represents that small percentage of people that are having respiratory problems from it. But here's the thing, guys, and this is the big kicker. If it's moving through, and I'm going to estimate probably about anywhere between 1,500 and 3,000 people, I think, actually have it right now. And if it's moving through a population of that big, and we're seeing about 200 people, more or less, that's having to be hospitalized from it. Imagine when it expands out instead of 3,000 people that have it, but millions of people have it. Then the percentage of people that are, need to be hospitalized from it would would be represent the same figures that we're seeing now. So right now what we're seeing is basically 200 people out of maybe, let's say, 2,000, right? Which is 10%. So have to be hospitalized because it goes down in their chest and, and it causes some pneumonia type of problems where they have problems, difficulty breathing or whatever. There's just so much phlegm from it or whatever, you know, in their chest. So this is what I think is going on. Now, where this makes it potentially hazardous for the world is if this advances through the world with billions of people coming down with it, that 10% could be, in, if you're talking billions, you could be talking 100 million people suddenly out of commission with, and if this swamps the medical system, well, let's move on here, and enough speculation, 
Of course, the financial system is ready to collapse as well. And so if you get something like this happen that slows down world productivity, the whole financial system could collapse at the same time. You could be dealing with problems that are horrible, just horrible. Anyway, let's move on. Let's open up the charts right here and take a look at what's going on with this thing. This is from the Euro Weekly News. It says disease X, three more dead, thousands more infected, global pandemic predicted as Chinese virus is rapidly spreading. So we're getting news out of China and the news is not good about this. China has released 139 new cases of the illness just today. Third person's now died from it. They're called, it's, the illness now called disease X uh, found over the weekend, health officials have said the new virus belongs to the same family of coronaviruses that caused acute, severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS, which killed nearly 800 people globally during the 2002-2003 outbreak that also started in China. Authorities have warned the coronavirus is spreading to more cities as the country gears up for the to, for the Lunar New Year's later this week. So they're having a big festival here, and they're traveling all over the place. In China, their Chinese New Year. You know, really in this world, and this is my opinion only, we should be more vigilant about travel, being more careful to make sure that people are not carrying potentially deadly viruses from one place to another rather rapidly, you know? And, okay, we've moved into the modern age now, and they can scan crowds for temperature, you know? But that's not all there is to a virus. Sometimes people might not be exhibiting a, a temperature yet. They get to their destination, and then they come down with a fever. So, I mean, you know... We need we need systems in place that are that are more vigilant about about things like this. We don't have there yet. We don't have these systems in place. Hundreds of millions of Chinese people are expected to travel domestically and abroad for the celebration of the Chinese New Year. Uh, the Daxing Health Commission in the capital of Beijing has confirmed two new cases of the virus in Beijing. Oh my gosh. That's bad, guys. Well, the Southern Guangdong Province Health Commission confirms one case in Shenzhen. These are huge Chinese cities. The worry is that the cases are the first reported outside the city of Wuhan, where the virus originated. The Wuhan Municipal Health Commission has said in a statement that 136 new cases of coronavirus, which presents as viral pneumonia, has been discovered over the weekend. Well, well, I think what's happening is, is I think that in Wuhan, this is spreading through the population, and what we're seeing is probably 100 people have it for each new case that they're reporting that aren't coming into the hospital. They got the virus, but it's like they got a bad flu or a bad cold. And they're suffering through it, and they'll probably get better. But it says 136 cases. Now, this is my opinion only. Uh, the things I'm talking about in this program right here, they haven't been verified yet or anything, you know. And I'm kind of moving out there ahead, you know, in my speculation of what's going on. You understand? So I'm going to make that clear to you guys that, I'm only speculating about what's going on. I don't have verified facts on these things. The things I'm saying in this program are not verified yet. I say yet because I believe that that's what's happening. But, I mean, it's up to you guys to decide for yourself if that's what's happening because the information is so new, so fresh. This is a brand new virus that nothing's been verified yet about how it's spreading or anything. They don't know hardly anything about this new virus yet. They don't know what the mortality rate is of it yet. They don't know what to, uh, they don't know uh, how many people will be hospitalized from it yet. They don't know if it's going to mutate yet. They don't know, they don't know, they don't know. And so I don't know either. I'm just speculating about what's going on.
But from my speculation, I would believe that this virus, instead of being so deadly, it's more of a virus that incapacitates. Large amounts, large swaths of people would be incapacitated, unable to work, uh, because basically they're sick. They feel like they got the flu. If not worse, it goes into pneumonia, and then they're incapacitated for how long? Maybe months. Uh, and that represents a certain percentage of the people that's going to come down with this. I also am speculating that it's much more widespread than, than the authorities are uh, showing. Like they're showing 136 new cases. I'm also speculating that the actual virus out there is spreading through the population in China much wider. And that these 136 new cases are only the people that are becoming severe and having to report into the medical, you know. And a person, most people... I think the people in China are the same way as the people in America. You don't generally go to the hospital with, with, a, with a cold. Generally, you stay home and try to suffer it through. But when it gets to the point where you can't breathe, then you go into the hospital. And I think that 136 people are, are, are in that point of the ones that get to the point where they can't breathe properly. And they had to go into the hospital. And then they checked them and said, hey, you guys, you guys got this coronavirus. You know, and so they, they're reporting them. But, but how many people out there right now are homesick, you know, uh, with what they think is a severe cold or flu that have this virus that aren't reporting in? And how far is it spreading beyond that? And how quickly? These are facts that we need to, to, to get in yet. We haven't got these facts yet about this. So this is something that has come out of nowhere. Uh, it says a study from the London Imperial College suggests that there could be more than 1,723 cases in Wuhan alone. And it might be double that. I'm going to tell you guys, and this is going to sound, what I'm going to say is going to sound kind of weird. But I'm kind of hoping that it's 3,000, 5,000, or 10,000 that have it right now. And the reason why I say that is, if 10,000 people do have it right now, and and and, uh, and 136 of them have come in really sick, had to be hospitalized, that would represent a smaller percentage of the population that this thing is actually affecting uh, in a negative way. In other words, causing them to have pneumonia. Whereas if only, say, if only, say, 500 people or 300 people actually have it and a hundred and a hundred and thirty six of them have come down ill enough where they have to go in to the be hospitalized. That would represent a much greater threat. You see what I'm saying? So the wider spread it is with these hundred and thirty six new cases is probably actually better because it means that less people are getting the pneumonia part of it where they have to be hospitalized. Because if this thing is already out of the let's just we're spec totally speculating here. But if this horse is out of the barn, right, uh, what percentage of the people is it going to take out a commission? So that they, they have terrible bad pneumonia or whatever. Because if too many of the world's population is taken out of commission too, too rapidly, the world will descend into to chaos. And that could affect the rest of the world's population in a very negative way. That's an understatement, of course, you know. But the thing is, is we're all dependent now. We depend upon the grocery store. We depend upon the gas station. We depend upon the bank, you know. And if too many people fall ill and these, all these things basically close, then what do we do, you know? Uh, because people, in order to keep this system running, we have to have people that are healthy and able to work and, and the, the key word to this is healthy and you can't do anything when you have pneumonia you know uh and so that's what this thing does basically is it causes pneumonia and so what percentage of the people are getting the pneumonia factor from this this is an important number that i don't have an answer to yet but 
It says a study from London's, London's Imperial College suggests that there could be more than 1,723 cases. Well, the more cases, because we already know the number is 136 new cases reported just yesterday, and I think the total is somewhere around 200 or whatever, right? Uh, and we know 1,723, so 200 goes into 1,723 would be a high percentage of the people coming down with pneumonia. So I'm kind of hoping that 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 there's actually is more cases out there that because that would mean that less people are being immobilized with pneumonia from it the percentage wise if that makes sense to you guys in other words i'm hoping that the disease is less deadly rather than more deadly i'm hoping that that what we're seeing as a as a case example here is anyway i think you guys get the point so we're we're going to hope on this thing that they're able to contain it, but I tend to think that the horse might be out of the barn on this one, uh, sadly to say, and what is going to re be the repercussions? I need to find out more about this. I'm doing the research. I know you guys, uh, a lot of you have work, you have jobs, you have things you have to do, you can't uh, devote time to research, but this is my business here on my three channels uh, is researching for you guys. So you guys don't have to do the research. And what I'm going to try to find out about this is how do you avoid catching it for one? So I can tell you guys how to avoid catching. it. I don't have that information yet. I'm going to hunt for it. Uh, another thing I want to find out about it is, is the exact numbers on it. The numbers haven't come in yet. The numbers of how, how fatal it is and, and, or, and how many people fall down with pneumonia from it, and, and how many people get over it, how long does it last. I have all these questions that I need answers to, and the answers are not forthcoming because this is a brand new disease, basically. It just started a month ago. Come out of nowhere. But we do know it's a coronavirus. Thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe. Um... Uh, and stay tuned. I'm going to have more information on this as information becomes available. Bye-bye, guys.